Over the years, many shark attacks have supposedly been caused by canines. The theory being that their swimming style and pooch perfume draws sharks in from far and wide. Now, when Cary Grant and Tori came to film this, I have to tell you, there was a huge discussion about whether or not to use a real dog. In fact, we found a dog and its owner who were willing to get into the sea with sharks. <laughs> we even talked about making the dog a little doggy life jacket in case he got tired. And we thought about building it a miniature shark cage. Ultimately, there was no getting around the fact that we considered it 100% unacceptable for the dog to be eaten in the course of the experiment. But come on. A result is a result, right? So with real dogs ruled out, the Mythbusters had a shaggy solution. Although he looked simple, RoboDog was anything but. Capable of releasing smells from a real dog, accurate audio, and non-electronic movement, he was the ultimate robot in disguise. But would he attract sharks? The guys did this very cool experiment where they counted the number of sharks attracted to just the boat in a 20 minute period. No chum, no nothing. Every once in a while they come and check me out just to see if I'm edible. <laughs> <laughs> they then came back 24 hours later and threw RoboDog in, who swam like a champion. RoboDog looks great. He's totally swimming like a real dog. But he didn't just swim. Okay, Tori, stand by. We're gonna release the urine and anal secretion. Yep, first RoboDog went wee, then he pooped, and then he bled. See a shark coming towards the surface? But even with all that, after 20 minutes, the shark count was precisely the same as it had been during the control, which means myth busted. I still think we should have used a real dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Shark Week starts Sunday, August 12th at 9, only on Discovery.